Hey, how's your day? With Generative Fill and now Generative Expand associated with your crop tool, we can finish the pick where we couldn't do it before. When I fix pictures for people, sometimes somebody takes a selfie or it's a photographer that didn't quite get everything in the shot. Now we can. Let's check these two examples out. All right, as you can see by this recording, let's go to help at about... And we're using the Photoshop beta 25.00. Now, in this first example here, got a girl with a great selfie, but she missed the top of her head, and she wants that back. Well, unless if she's going to take the picture again, we can't do that. But let's check this out. Let's go to your crop tool, and let's expand it up a bit so we can grab her top of her head and maybe part of the background here make sure it's set to generative expand and hit generate of course with generative expand generative fill always gives you three options so let's look at one two three I'm digging number three here. It put back the background. It finished the top of her head. This is great stuff. All right, with this same example, let's use both. Generative Expand and the Crop Tool for what it normally does. Now, what we want to do is the girl maybe wants the arm removed. So let's go to your Crop Tool. Make sure at the very top it says Background Default. And let's just bring it in. Right about there. All right. Now we're missing the top of her head and the side, but this is the cool thing about Generative Expand. So up in the fill, let's go back to Generative Expand. Go back to your crop tool. Now let's expand it out a little bit this way so we can see what's going on. And of course, the top of her head generate let's check out our three options one two or three three looks like she's trying to take the selfie again but number one looks great it's filled in the hair her tats that she may have and plus we've got the top of her head and the background again we've got a full picture we finished the pick all right, now in the second example, what we'll do is we've got a picture here that isn't quite complete and the girl would like it complete if possible. Well, like I said before, she'd have to take the pick again. First thing we'll do though, let's go to the crop tool, background default, let's get rid of these black bars. So we'll go and we'll bring it just a bit in on both sides. Click the check mark, and they're gone. Make sure delete crop pixels is checked off. And now let's finish the pick. Let's go back to generative expand, back to our crop tool. And we want to come out a bit here. We want to possibly finish her arm. So let's grab a bit of this. And, of course, the top of her head. Hit Generate. And now we've got a complete pick. Let's check out our three options. Option 1, Option 2, or Option 3. I'm digging Option 2. We've got a full pick. We've got the pool. We've got her head. We've got her arm and the rest of her tats. Wonderful, we finished the pick in this extreme example. As you can see from these two examples here, almost anything is possible now with both Generative Fill and Generative Expand. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe, you won't break a nail. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.